Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Arpacamaria back with another Dokkan battle video. And today, I want to tell you guys about five new Extreme Z Awakenings that are coming to the global side of the game later this month. Four of them are actually dropping in literally three days from now on February the 10th. And then the fifth one will be dropping approximately a week after on the 17th. All right, so why don't we start here with the main unit, the one that I think the majority of people are the most excited for. And of course, I'm referring to this guy right here, the AGL Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku. I mean, technically he's just the Super Saiyan Blue Goku, but that really doesn't make a lot of sense if you look at the art, but still, I don't mind. It's all good because this means we can run him on the same team as the still, for the time being, global exclusive STR Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku, and those two make an absolutely deadly rotation, absolutely deadly combination. I can't wait to do some showcases with the two of them together. All right, so uh, without further ado, why don't we jump right into it, starting with his leader skill. It's AGL types key plus three, HP, attack, and defense plus 120%. His super attack greatly raises attack and causes immense damage while sacrificing 5% HP. Now this HP reduction can be seen as a positive or negative depending on what event you're running and what team you're bringing because for some teams there's going to be a lot of units that require you to be at a certain level of HP to transform or get an active skill off. So in those situations maybe you actually want to lose some HP but at the same time if you're running like the Legendary Goku event, or you're on Super Battle Road, that 5% HP hit every single time he supers could actually be really bad. So he's not perfect for every event out there, but he's really damn good, especially because this attack boost here is a 50% boost to his super attack multiplier. It can be stacked infinitely, or at least 99 turns, which is basically infinite, and uh, that means that the longer the event is, the harder he's gonna hit. His passive is attack and defense plus 59%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 59% for 10 turns from the start of turn, plus an additional attack plus 59%, and performs a critical hit starting from the ninth turn from the start of battle once only. So this guy, it's really really hard guys. I mean defensively he's okay, he's not going to be super impressive, but just from a damage output perspective he is outrageous. Like I've done a showcase already of him, but if you guys didn't see that or any of the other showcases out there, if you want damage this guy will definitely give it to you and uh, he's just a really fun unit. I really really like him. Uh, as far as links go, they do stay the same as before and uh, which I mean that basically means he has one of the best link sets in the game. This guy was always known to have an amazing link set, as you can see. Super Saiyan, Warrior Gods, Kamehameha, Prepare for Battle, Over in a Flash, Shocking Speed, and Fierce Battle. So he links well with like, basically everybody, at least like a lot of super units, a lot of the top tier units in the game. And he has a bunch of categories too, Realm of Gods, Pure Saiyans, Full Power, Representatives of Universe 7, Goku's Family, Kamehameha, Bond of Master and Disciple, and Last Resort. So just an overall, Awesome, awesome Extreme Z Awakening. I can't freaking wait. It's dropping, as I said, on February 10th, so three days from now. And uh, let's take a quick look actually at the Extreme Z Battle event as well. Uh, just to let you guys know what the weakness and all that stuff is. All right, so here is the event. The weakness is the Universe 6 category. And the only other thing you need to keep in mind when you're running this event is that after level 14, he gets additional damage reduction of 80% against AGL types, so definitely try to bring as few of them as possible. I mean, if you can, don't bring any AGL types. And uh, beyond that, you should be good to go, especially with a Universe 6 team. And uh, as always, once you finish all 30 levels, you can get a total of, uh, there's actually no tally here, but 30 stones, and also, of course, all the medals you need to fully Extreme Z Awaken the AGL Goku. All right, so that is the AGL Super Saiyan Blue Goku Extreme Z Awakening. And now let's move on to the next unit that is also getting an EZA at the same time. And that would be the Fizz Super Saiyan Gotenks. So 
His details are all types Q plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 77% for the leader skill. His super attack causes immense damage and seals super attack. And his passive is attack plus 120% when performing a super attack. Q plus 1 up to 3 and defense plus 30% up to 120% which each, with each super attack performed. So he gets a boost of 100 actually 20% more attack, but also he actually gets some defense now. And 120% defense is not is not nothing, especially considering he has 10,822 defense at rainbow status post Extreme Z Awakening. So uh, yeah, he becomes way better. He does a lot more damage. He tanks a lot better than he used to. He's still not a great tank, but definitely a way better tank than before. And uh, he's also pretty self-sufficient with the plus three key. So another very good Extreme Z Awakening. There's also the STR Super Saiyan Go tank that's also getting an Extreme Z Awakening. And for him, his leader skill is STR types key plus two, HP, attack and defense plus 70%. Super attack is uh, raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. Attack and defense plus 80%, all allies key plus one and attack and defense plus 40% when facing two or more enemies. So a little bit situational here, attack and defense plus 80% is good, but he also becomes an extremely good support when you're facing two or more enemies so let's say you're on super battle road or any other event I guess that has multiple enemies um, he is gonna be a great addition to the team but in most cases you will want to bring the fizz go tanks over this guy because if you don't have that support that second part of the passive active for the str one then he's not nearly as good as this guy all right so that is the str go tanks and the next one we have is the free to play uh, Int Super Saiyan Future Trunks, the one from the um, Future Saga story event, the one that just got the revamp. And he will actually be getting an EZA through an Extreme Z area. And I know people have their opinions about Extreme Z areas. Um, I'm personally okay with them. I don't love them, but I also don't hate them like a lot of people do. So, I mean, it is what it is. And once you Extreme Z Awaken him, he's gonna give Int Types key plus 2, HP, attack, and defense plus 70%, super attack, causes supreme damage, and lowers attack and defense. And his passive is defense plus 100%, attack plus 100% when facing two or more, two or fewer enemies plus an additional attack plus 50% and great chance of performing a critical hit when there is an Android category enemy. So for a free to play Extreme Z Awakening, um, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not great either. I'll be honest, like I'm probably not going to be running him over any other Super Saiyan Future Trunkses, but uh, it's okay. I mean, he's a good sub for any team that you have you know, a slot open for, right? So if you need like a Vegeta's family uh, unit or time travelers or something like that, then he's not terrible, right? So that's the um, fourth and final Extreme Z Awakening dropping on February 10th. All four of those will be coming out at the same time. And then the fifth one, which I think some people might not know about right now because we just learned about it from last night's data download, is the STR Beerus. And the reason we know this one is coming out is because we found out that the Beerus Extreme Z Awakening event will be available um, for the entire duration of the next celebration. We don't know the exact contents, like all the stuff that's coming for the celebration after the Int Future Gohan one, but we do know that the Beerus Extreme Z battle event is coming back, which means that this guy is finally getting his Extreme Z Awakening on global and once he gets that EZA, he will give tech, int, and STR types key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 50%, super attack, causes supreme damage, and greatly lowers defense. And his passive is worthy rivals category key plus 2, attack and defense plus 30%, and defense plus 100%, and high chance of attack plus 200%. So if you look at his passive before, Literally all, all he got was high chance of attack plus 200%, which means that every once in a while, he's going to hit super, super hard. But then when he doesn't get that going, then he's completely useless, right? If he doesn't get that proc, then he has no passive. But now 
regardless of whether or not he gets that 200% attack, he's still going to have some defense, he's going to be a really, really good support for the Worthy Rivals category, so I think it's a huge upgrade. I'm excited for it. I mean, I've never run the Worthy Rivals category team because I don't have... Uh, it's the Fizz Piccolo that leads that category, right? So I don't have the Fizz Piccolo, so it's not like super useful for me right now, but if you guys do have the Piccolo and you're running that team, then he's going to be a great addition to that team for sure. And uh, like I said, he should be coming out approximately a week after um, the other EZAs. So February 17th, I said, is the date, right? I'm not 100% sure about that, but it should be around that time. Okay, so uh, those are all five Extreme Z Awakenings that are coming to the global side of the game in February, as far as we know. Uh, unfortunately, none of these are the Fizz Vegito Blue, which I know, I mean, of course, I'm looking forward to it too, so I know you guys are hyped for that, I'm hyped for that as well, but I wouldn't hold my breath for it to come out anytime soon, because if uh, the past is any indication, then it could be up to like six months before we actually see the Fizz Vegito Blue Extreme Z Awakening come to global, even though it is going to be a global first thing, so we're definitely going to get it before JP, um, it could still take quite some time. So we'll just have to wait and see, fingers crossed that it doesn't take too long, but uh, I'm not going to be too hopeful for that anytime soon. All right, so those are the five EZAs. Let me know in the comments down below which one of these you guys are the most excited for, you're the most hyped for. I think I know the answer already, but just let me know anyways. All right, and uh, that's going to do it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys learned something along the way. And as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you'll like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time i hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out <laughs>